Bon. This week I've had uh, a fantastic time visiting places in the region. I visited two district councils, uh, Yeovil and Tewkesbury, and in particular attended meetings that they ran about how they want to transform their places and make them healthier. Very much orientated towards tackling our, our biggest problem of obesity and uh, a great deal of concern particularly about children and young people but everyone and looking at what they can do uh, in an inclusive way to bring people uh, into a healthier way of life in those places. Um, Yeovil looks set for transformation to completely change the way in which they're ordering and organising that town and particularly preparing for very substantial housing growth uh, over the next decades and making sure that we don't repeat the mistakes of the, the past in very many places where we've built really unhealthy environments and obesogenic environments. So two towns really on the move, very much inspired by um, some of the continental models that some of us in the southwest have had the opportunity to see. The University of the West of England have been very active in helping on developing the work on health in the built environment in the southwest and they organised a visit last year for directors of public health along with directors from their um, local authorities, respective local authorities, to Freiburg in southern Germany and there we saw quite what can be done to produce an environment uh, that is pleasant and healthy and uh, enormously enhances the life and well-being of the population. Quite clearly that's the direction we have to travel. It's a big ask because in these financial times there's not going to be large amounts of extra money available and what we've really got to do is concentrate on bending the mainstream, reshaping and transforming the way in which we go about things like transport planning, like housing planning. And that means that we need public health skills right across the public sector, not just in public health specialists working perhaps in the NHS, but working in leisure services, in transport, in planning, right across the public sector, right across the southwest. The re other really good event this week was the uh, very first Chief Medical Officers Awards. These have been developed by the CMO, by Sir Liam Donaldson, uh, really to mark out enormous contributions uh, to public health in England. And I'm delighted to say that the Sir Wilson Jameson Medal, uh, named after the Chief Medical Officer, who was present all through the negotiation and the bringing into being of the NHS in the late 1940s. Uh, the Sir Wilson Jameson Medal went to Sustrans uh, and we're really lucky having such a vibrant uh, third sector organisation in the South West that has done so much to improve cycling and walking infrastructure right across the country. And we look, congratulate them both on their award of the medal and look forward to working with them uh, for many years to come in achieving the transformations that we need to see. This is going to be an interesting time for public health over the next year. We've got a general election coming, uh, financial storm clouds perhaps on the horizon, but I'm very sure and very confident that we've come a long way and that the momentum is very well set uh, to carry us forward into the future and be successful in our task of improving the health of the population of the Southwest. Thank you very much.